up, guys? It's Dragon Jr. again. We're going to be at geek.com. Watch the film lab at the number 32. Here to teach you some tips on handstands. Alright guys, for this video, rather than talking about how to do a handstand because it's sort of simple, it's scanning on your hands, we're going to go over the tips on how you can go about getting your handstand to be more complete. Most people will have the problem of getting either up to a handstand or holding it there. So we're going to talk about both and what things you can do to help your handstand. So a few things. With a handstand, the first part is getting up. Getting up it's all about kicking. It's really kicking back as hard as you can. A lot of people hesitate to do this because they think they'll go overboard and fall back. If you do, that's fine. If you're gonna fall back, you need to fall into a bridge or fall in, tuck your chin in and fall into a front roll. I'd rather you have the momentum and fall over rather than hesitating and kicking up and failing to do so. So you're gonna go down, you can start from the ground or you can stand up, either way. You're gonna start from the ground and kick up as high as you can. Usually you're gonna kick not at the same time but one leg at a time and go one, two. So me, I will go one leg at a time, one, two, kick like that to get it up rather than kicking both at the same time, which will never happen. Now, once we're up, you need to figure out how to hold your handstand. A handstand is a basic gymnastic move because you have to use all technique. It is not about muscling yourself. Some people will bend their elbows and try to push up like a shoulder press. You could try to do that, but that's not gonna take you very far, especially if you're gonna try to transition it into other moves like a one-hand freeze or a power move like Air Flares 90s. You're gonna need to learn how to do a proper handstand. So, certain techniques to hold a proper handstand. First, your hands. You want to, rather than flattening your hands and just placing it on the ground, use your fingertips and grip the ground. When you grip the ground, your forearm will flex and you will get more power in your arms to hold yourself. This is gonna be for not just for a handstand, for, but for a baby freeze, air chair, anything that you do to hold yourself with your hands, always figure out that you should be gripping the floor. Kind of like uh, if you were at the beach in the sand, you would dig your finger into the sand and feel that water kind of running your fingers into the sand deeper. Same concept, dig your finger in. Now, once you are up, you also want to make sure that you're not bending your elbow. If you bend your elbow, it's all going to be a shoulder press movement. So you're going to have to muscle up. So lock your shoulders and lock your elbows. Now once you are straight up, imagine yourself stretching. You're getting out of bed and you're stretching. This is your last. You want your abs to stretch up as high as possible. Some people can do a handstand normally, but if you stretch your lats, you're gonna get yourself tight, you're gonna squeeze, and you're gonna be using lat muscle along with your shoulders and elbows and arms and hands and everything. You'll have more guidance to hold yourself up. So watch. A regular head like this. Grip it. A press movement. Next, your lower body. You want your feet and your knees to be sticking together. Press them together as hard as possible. If I or a partner were to come up to you and pull your feet apart, it should not come apart. It should be able to resist. Stick your feet together as strong as possible, along with your knees, and then squeeze your butt cheeks as hard as possible. This will tighten your lower body and keep a straight pull. This will help you so that you don't shift around your weight when you're up there. If your legs are all over the place, it's going to be that much more force that you're going to have to go against. Keep yourself straight as possible. Keep your arms locked, keep your shoulders straight, keep your lats stretching up, keep your knees and feet together, but you squeeze and keep a straight pull, and this will be a perfect handstand. Once you get that idea, at first it's gonna be hard to grasp all those concepts together. You will want to have a partner, or you can use a wall, to guide you in this process. Oh. 
is the wall of the partner. He will hold you by the knees or the shins or the calves and you will focus on pushing with your lats as hard as possible. You will squeeze your feet and your knees together and your butt cheek together. You will not try to use him as leverage. You will try to keep your balance as straight as possible. If you were to fall over, he will try to catch you, but try not to use him as much as possible. Try not to rely on him. He is at sort of like a training wheel on the bicycle. Good analogy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't use that one. <laughs> yeah. I thought you did it. You didn't like it, but I cut it out. Okay. <laughs> so that was a tip for a handstand, or tips for a handstand. If you like this video, please subscribe, hit the like button. Till next time, see you later.